Okay, I'm going to start this feeding video out um, with uh, a tea that is in pre-malt. I'm going to be showing all my tarantulas in this video except the three that have already malted. That will be in the previous video. But you can barely see her. But that is my Phomictopus. Phomictopus, what am I on about? Um, Pamphobetes fortis. And as you can see, I must focus. She's in very heavy pre-malt. Um, she will probably malt next week. Um, she's been very skittish at the moment, and she didn't eat, um, so it was a bit odd because she basically she's going to pre-malt really quick and really like heavy, so really heavy pre-malt. Um, well, I suppose that's good because I am going to be breeding these, so I know when she's malted. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna water substrate a bit, um, fill up a water bowl, and leave it be. She should be fine. Um, yeah, I'll give you an update when she malts, and yep, that's how I'm starting it. Um, there's a lot of tarantulas that are in pre-malt, so I'm not going to attempt to feed the ones that I know are in pre-malt. And um, the ones that I'm mm, about, I'll try and feed. Okay, back in a sec. This is another tea I'm pretty confident in pre-malt. The carapace is really dark, um, she hasn't ate two times in a row, so I'm not going to attempt to feed her. My last is the Oraklugi. Um she's pretty skittish at the moment, but I do think she's going to molt. Um, if she doesn't molt, um, I'll just try and feed her in two weeks, because then it's give her time to, um, time to like, because sometimes it might be that she's just full, because she does get fed well, and... It's not like she's uh, abdomen small, so I'll just give her time to decide. Oh, I think she's in pre malt though, like ninety percent sure. So yeah, just gonna leave her be, give her some water, and let her get on with whatever she's doing. Um, she is my largest tarantula, so if she does malt, I get to uh, measure the malt, which is huge. I know she's pretty damn big, so it'll be good to see what size she is. Okay, we'll leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Okay, um, another team pre malt mark might be Bomi. I'm just going to show you a really easy way to find out if adult teas are um, in pre malt, what well, it works most of the time. For once, he's not going for summer. And he did do it before, but he doesn't want to. Yeah. What are we doing? We're just doing this, and he just kept flicking hairs. All I'm doing is tapping the soil around him. In pre malt though. See what I mean? Really sluggish. Just wants to kick hairs. See what I mean? He's probably gonna malt anytime soon. I'll probably malt this week. As you can see, just really sluggish. Um yeah, it's just sluggish. It does look like it's smoked in, but I know it's just gonna malt. Um, probably end it uh, if I'm honest, he, probably, he could probably do it today. He was just up against the glass. I know he's not mature. Yeah, he's not mature. So, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for him to malt. He's a very gorgeous tea, uh, just sluggish at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna give him some water and leave him be. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of malts because I'm still not finished with teas that are in pre malt. So, yeah, back in a sec. I'm not going to take the lid off on this one because I know she'll just run off because she's really skittish. Um, this is my Amphipelma calcodes. Um, I always mention this because it's awesome. She's captive bred and a confirmed female. It's absolutely awesome. Um, she's going to molt anytime soon. Well, I said that. The calcodes can go into pretty molt for absolutely ages. I've heard reports of them last like six months, maybe even a year in pre molt. And um, because they live absolutely ages, I think they can live up to 25 years, I think, Alpha Powers. Can't remember. I know they live one of the longest because they're just absolutely slow growers. Um, so I'm just going to give some water, leave a bee. Um, Mark's, um, so my bee bone, my Mark, he's still being super sluggish. I don't know why he's doing it. He's being proper weird. Literally just like crawling along, but he's going to molt anytime soon. 
He is in really, really heavy pre-malt. Panther Beat is 40, so he's doing the exact same. Just in super heavy pre-malt. Just want to left be, left, be left alone. This girl's just not too fussed. So she's a bit skittish. Um, where's my tweezers? I'm just going to show you. But she's just completely calm. Well, docile-ish. Well, look at that. I've never actually seen a throw of mini threat posture. Um, she's harmless. She's just in heavy pre-malt and pissed off. Once she malts, she'll calm down again. I'm just going to leave her be and move on to the next one, which is another tea that's in pre-malt. Okay, back in a sec. Um, this is another tea that's in really heavy pre-malt. And you can see her legs moving, but I'll just show you what she's just been doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's in really heavy pre-malt. It's very rare for this her to actually strike. Um, what usually she just does is it just eats it. Um, let's see if I can get a better picture. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, this is my Nandu Colorado Velosis. Um, confirmed female, but you can see her abdomen's black and blue. Really heavy pre-malt, and she's kicking hairs. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave her be. She's actually made some webs up there, and I thought she was going to malt, but she's gone down there now. Um, she will molt literally um, probably any day, same as the others, so I'll keep you updated on all them. And now we're actually going to teas that should eat. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, sorry about a bit of a long intro, but I wanted to show all the teas. So, yeah. Um, moving on to tarantulas that will probably eat. Okay, back in a sec. Adult female GBB should be hungry. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, she's been really heavy webbing at the moment. But yeah, she always eats now. She had a bad malt and after about three, four months waiting for the carapace, because the carapace basically stayed attached. Um waited about yeah, about three, four months, something like that. And it finally fell off and she's turned into a normal GBB, wanting to eat anything that moves. But she's generally calm. Um once she's been fed, she's calm as hell. Um, really, really calm for a GBB, and I'm not complaining about that. So yeah, we'll leave a B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Um, this is my LP. Um, I'm actually just going to leave this out like that. I may have pre-killed it. Um, just because I want to know if it's eaten or not. Um, I don't think it's a mature male. Honestly don't. Um, but... It's just I want to know if it's eating, because if it isn't eating, I uh, could suspect it's a mature male, but it doesn't look it. Um, but if I'm honest, it's too skittish to even see properly. So, um, I'm just leaving this out, because usually mature males don't eat that much, so that's what I'm worrying about. Um, it's not looking like a mature male, that's what the thing is, it just might not be hungry. Because it ate one week, then it didn't eat another, which is a bit odd. To say it doesn't get huge um, meals. Anyway, I'm going to leave that in there like that and check up on it later. Okay. Back in a sec. I have one um, extra large locust left. It's not really extra large, but it was in the box. Um, so out of all the teas, because I've literally just got them left to do, and I decided to give it my Nandu Chromatis. Um, she'll be hungry, so let's see. So there's a yes. <laughs> so yeah, um, she's absolutely gorgeous, really good feeders, absolutely adore Nandus, um, as you can see, she's not really bothered. Okay, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Okay, back in a sec. For Mictopus Conceritis, um, Jugan male, nearly always eats, let's see, before it even hit the ground. Absolutely pissy little thing, that's why I always keep the lid on. Um, most vicious TI owned. When I first got it, it was really calm, and most vicious TI owned there was my C fasciatum. Still second, because it is a little pissy little thing, but nothing compared to what this one is now. You even breathe wrongly, and it'll go for you. Okay, I'm just going to leave it be to eat and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my C fasciatum, you can just see the abdomen. It's not focusing on it though. Should be hungry. Could 
pops out there. Let's see if we can feed her from there actually. Nope. She is a bit skittish. If I crush it and chuck it down there, she'll have it in a sec. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in like that. I'll give you an update on her, but we'll just got to see her a bit. Um, you can see it there. It's the wood. Okay, and um, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Hyplopus species Columbia Large. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck this in and shut go for it. Perfect throw, but <coughs> There, it's a bit awkward to hmm. oh. just noticed it. I don't think she realised it's food. Well, I'm gonna watch this till something happens because I have to admit this is pretty cool. Move that out of the way. I doubt she's in Primo, but she's webbing a lot. Very impressive webber. For a little burrowing species that doesn't want to burrow. I'm going to leave it in with for a bit. She doesn't eat, she doesn't eat. Um, here's a suspect female, but knowing my luck, it'll be a male. Okay, before the locust escapes, um, I'm going to leave her be. Okay, back in a sec. Amphibetius fortis, um, juvenile male. Um, I, thought, I think it's drinking because uh, it literally just jumped at the water bowl. Um, should be hungry though. Let's see if it's hungry. Yeah. Yep, it's hungry. Grabbed it by the iris. Pamphodes are such good uh, feeders. So for Mictopus. All my favourite species are good feeders. <laughs> Um, really calm though, a bit skittish, but pretty calm for a male. Not too skittish, because I've seen him a lot more skittish from this. He's not too fussed, pretty calm. My Nemphis Intermediate is really, really skittish. And that's what I'm going to feed him next, so I'm just leaving B to eat this and move on to the next one. I'm borrowed, um, just watered off side to keep the humidity up, and I'll leave it be. Okay, back in a sec. So this is my Anemphus intermediate, intermediate or intermedia. Um, kept exactly the same as Panthos, wet on side. Uh, some of that dog, won't get in sack. They can wait. Um, so yeah, um, suspect male, and it's probably one of the most expensive species in my care. So Let's see if it's hungry. <laughs> Just jumped on it and put his little back legs up in there. Yeah, he's a very gorgeous species. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, Nemphis Intermedia or Intermedius, depending if you're American or English. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background, he's still barking even though the person who came to the door left like 20 minutes ago now. He's been messing about. Um, Vicularia species proved purple. Should be hungry because it molted the other week, but it's not too sure. Just bothered. Literally, it's ripped a hole of that side and ripped a hole there, so it could just go all the way around where it wants. Um, I'm gonna leave it in with it because it should be hungry. It'll just grab it in its own time. Okay, I'm gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. You can just see at the back, you can see his back legs there, you can see it there. Holophelia sanguiniceps, quite a rare species, usually doesn't eat on camera, but obviously. It's a bit bigger than it will usually get, but it'll still take it if it wants it. Oh, can 
which I see it a bit better. They look similar to cobalt blue, if I'm honest. Um, similar patterning, well, not patterning, but similar. You, if you saw a picture of one, you'd know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just going to chuck the locust in and leave it be. Um, a bit of a shy eater, immature male. It's suspect male, but yeah. Okay, we'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Another really rare species in my care foot to mention, the Holophyllus sanguineceps is pretty rare as well. Um, Sparbophory Hoffmanni, um, um, horned bird eater. Um, should be hungry, he always eats. Okay, let's see if he eats. I completely missed that because I'm an idiot. <sighs> it's been a long week. The shibesky you're gonna get because every time I open the lid it just runs away. Um Ficularis fishes proved purple. Just I propped went for it, just armoured it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Avix. Really good species. For eating, yeah, I suppose. Oh mine seem to be doing well, because uh well I had three different Avix. Um one I don't really count because it was that small. Um, and sadly passed away. Um, Vicularia later, if you didn't know, has actually passed away. Um, but my vest colour and this species pro purple, when they're not in pre malt, they eat really well. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update because that's the only one that I can actually see at the moment. There's eight. Okay, I'll move on to the next one and give you an update on the rest at the end. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Canvas Scurrier Aatrox, you can see the shiny abdomen just where my finger is. Um, I'm just going to pop a locust in at the top because it's actually sealed itself in. Um, I think it's molded to be honest but I can't see and I don't want to dig it out. And I'm going to leave a small locust in and leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it be. Okay, back in a sec. Holophyll into gold, um, I don't mess with this because it's absolutely speed little thing, it's already escaped twice on me in the space of like an hour um, when I did rehouse it, so I'm not going to even attempt to mess with it, um, I'll give you an update if it eats because it usually hits like a ton of bricks, but it's pretty skittish, so yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. I'm going to film this quick, all I can. If it's gonna hide, um, let's see the rest of peas. I'm gonna drop some food in a sec. I just want to catch it while it's out in the open. Um, see, you don't really see it too often. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, should be hungry, so let's see. Bit skittish, so. I'm just going to leave it in with it, let it get on with whatever it wants to get on with. Okay, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is another really, really rare species that I own. What the fuck is that? Oh, I just saw something. It wasn't a mite. It looks like a substrate mite. What the fuck? It's a fucking fruit fly, it's just fucking molded. Uh, drop this in. No, it's gone. Literally. Mm, can I see it? No, it's fucked up. It was just a freshly molded fruit fly, it was just falling in. Hmm. I'll close the lid. And show you her a bit. I'll give you an update on her in a bit, but that's her. You'll see a bum. 
Um, she's a really nice species, cave runny peeps. Really rare as well, to be honest. Okay, back in a sec. This is my holophile insect, they just run down that hole, but they're all linked. So I'm just gonna drop it down there. It'll get it in its own time. Um, didn't eat last week, but it will eat this week, and it will. It's been looking for food. Okay, um, we'll leave it be and move on to the last two. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Frick Spell, my Oc too. Yeah, should be hungry. Should be. Uh, I'm going to leave it be because this one's an absolute nutcase when it wants to be it'll just ball. And uh, I'll give you an update on it later. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, last but not least is my Jupiter Cripes. Um, it's down its burrow, so I doubt it will strike it. Because um, it's at the other side. I'll just show you what I mean. Um, sorry, it's been another pretty naff feeding video, to be fair. Uh, it's just down there. In my fingers. Um, I'm just going to leave it in with it. Um, so, yeah. Quite a lot of things I haven't ate. Um, don't know why, it just seems to be like. Well, these are the things that just haven't ate. <laughs> then there's the ones that are already in pre malt, so it's getting a bit daft now. Um, I'll give you an update on them all. Um, probably tomorrow morning. Um, okay, see a bit, people. Well, yeah, see a bit. Well, no. See you in a second, yeah. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so a um, bit of an update on who's eat eight. Um, sorry about my guinea pig. Holofelli sanguiniceps um, is eight. Um, Holofelli is really good eaters. Like they are a dwarf species, but they are really good eaters. Very fast as well. Um, L stratipedes actually out. Um, is eight. I can't see any. Uh, bits of locust row. Um Tiocte it's eight. I'll have a quick look. It's not so crazy now, so it shouldn't run off. Yep. That is eaten. Not as crazy as it used to be. It's calmed down a bit. Um two cool cripes. Right where my thumb is, but his burrow starts there. Um, yeah, it's eaten, so he's dropped it in. Um, no problems with that. The holophilic insect. Uh, this is one I'm not too sure about, but yeah, holophilies. I advise them to anyone. Um, so I'm just gonna look at this. This is not too bad. Because literally all she does is just run down there. No trouble. Um, you can't see any locust. Good thing about locust is, um, don't burrow. Um, they just literally, I'll show you what they do because they're doing it in two other enclosures. So all these have eaten, eaten, whatever. Um, all they do is sit on the top of the enclosure. Um, just like that. So, Holofilly Inti Gold, um, in pre malt suspect, um, suspect male, but um, we shall see. Um, the sea fasciatum, you can actually see the locust there. Um, you can see the tea there. Um, she'll definitely be in free malt. Um, I don't think she's malted in my care, because I got her as a confirmed female. Well, I got her as unsex, but it's obviously she's female. Anyone knows anything about teas would know that. Um, pumpkin patch, talk. Um, yeah, suspect pre malt, but this is a suspect. Email. Um, can't remember when she molted last. Yeah, I'll get that fire out in this. Oh, it's already outside. Um, so yeah. Oops. Pumpkin patch. Um, so the plover species, Columbia Large. Um, Holofella Inti Gold and Sea Fasciata. I'll just show you these quick. Um, 
a Canvas Scurrier Aatrox has an eight yet, but it's still in its burrow. It's still just sat there. You saw it move, I think. No, it's focusing on my finger. No, you can't see it, it's literally like at the back there. I'm going to leave it in for a couple of days just to be safe. And the LP did eat. Um, all I did was leave it there and it's obviously eaten it. Um, this LP seems to be really shy when eating but um, I was just like I used to just drop it in. And it just, um, I used to drop it in half dead and it'd eat. So it's just shy. A bit timid. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll give you an update on these three and the Aatrox tomorrow because I'm going to leave these to see if they eat but um, I doubt it ok I'm going to leave these be and give you an update in a second ok back in a sec completely forgot about the key bunny peas straight in front of me I didn't even pay attention oh I should come out that's probably the best footage you're going to see of one um, confirmed female yeah, she definitely got that. You can see it if not. Um, one of my most impressive burrowers. And one of my favourite teas. Not the species, I'm not a massive fan of, just this suspect is very awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll leave her be and yeah, I'll give you an update on the rest in a second. Okay, back in a sec. Um, these didn't eat. Um, see fashy at them. Didn't eat, but the carapace is getting a bit dark, so I'm pretty sure that's in pre malt. Um, the Hippocus species, Columbia Large, didn't eat. Smokes is there, and the tea is there. Here's what I've been up a lot more, so I'm pretty sure that's in pre malt. Um, Confiscuria Aatrox, didn't eat, it was literally. In the somewhere, oh, you can just see the abdomen. Uh, you can literally see like the spinnerets. So I know it's doing fine. Um, I'll just take these out. And the Holofelt into gold because it is is actually in pre malt. Um, I'm gonna get some video footage of the lid actually off. So I'm just gonna sort all these others out, and I'm just gonna show you this one because it should be a bit slower because it's in pre malt. So yeah. Uh, back in a sec, this should be fun. Um, I'm just going to show you this because this proves that this tea is actually in pre malt. Watch this. Can't see. Look how slow that is. Usually it's a speed little thing that wants to try and eat me. And it's not bothered. <laughs> so, yeah, that is definitely in pre malt. Very nice tea, though, even in pre malt. Hmm. We'll leave that be and I'll just have fun with this in seagull. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. So I'm actually going to show you this tea. This is something that hasn't been featured very well on my channel in a while. Um, look, it's just stuck in the web, so that's not going anywhere. Um, I'll lift it up, it's not too speedy, it's calmed down a bit. It is a suspect male, but um, I think it's a female to be honest. You can see um, why it's the Holofelle Incy Gold. It does resemble the Holofelle Incy, except it doesn't have the abdomen striping and it has like a gold tinge to it. Don't want to stress it out too much, so I'm just going to leave it be. But yeah, that's at least some footage of it because you never actually see it. Okay. I'll send it a feeding video, I know. So, it wasn't the best, but... <clears throat> yeah, I like to do updates on them, so... It's basically a merge of my updates, videos, and the feeding video, so yeah. Well, to meet people, bye.